The years of the struggle were over. Democracy had finally won the battle, and 1994 marked the beginning of a new era in South African history. They say they are proud of you. And we have come to bury the apartheid regime. Community Law Centre was very important for me, Albi, because I was one of thousands and thousands of exiles and uh, ANC, PAC been unbanned, uh, Mandela had been released, the exiles were beginning to come back and it was Dalla Omar who invited me to come to the University of the Western Cape to join the Community Law Centre. So I was one of the very first exiles to come back and it was a marvellous, marvellous occasion, a very joyous occasion. So. It was my reconnection with South Africa in that sense was through Dalla, Farida Omar uh, and through the Community Law Centre. Community Law Centre was thrust right into the heart of preparing for a new South Africa. It became the engine room, I would say, the engine room uh, of the intellectual foundations that were being laid for the uh, new constitution in South Africa. So the period up to the 94 election is very dramatic, very tense. There are marches, there are explosions, there is Eugene to Blanche falling off his horse. And through all of that, and some real warfare, because there were, there were guns, um, the community law centre in a very dis disciplined academic way, helped to write the Bill of Rights and the Constitution. Had we not been based at UWC, we wouldn't have achieved as much as we did. You know, we now talk about very flippantly about non-racist, non-sexist South Africa, you know, and it's become a cliche. Everybody had that in their heart, but they wore it on their sleeve. It was sort of what we, it was, it was, it was done unabashedly, and um, in hindsight, we were, I was working, you know, I'm an American. It was like working with the George Washingtons, the Thomas Jeffersons. They are those people for this, for this country. That also led to the big challenge, I think, to the Community Law Center after 1994, as we all know, you know, that um, they had to account for the fact that so many of these illustrious figures were then taken up in politics and uh, it had to find its, its, its niche in the, in the South African landscape. But I think it did so, so very, very well because it um, had to then become like more academic but still activist. Uh, our value is to provide um, insights, uh, deep analysis that would stand scrutiny. And I must say over the past 20 years, our research has never been doubted or criticized for lacking in thoroughness, innovation, um, and applicability. The Community Law Center has become African in a way that almost no other South African organization has. Um, over a period of time, we had a, a footprint in almost 20 African countries. The Community Law Center is not just a group of South Africans working on issues on the continent or working on issues on South Africa, but you have a regional makeup. You have people from 11 to 12 countries on the continent providing perspectives so that when you're going out onto the continent, you're not going as South Africans to tell them what to do. You're actually going with very local expertise as well, and you're developing that kind of expertise. I think that's the model for the future of Global South organizations. And I'm proud to know that it's going forward in a new guise, but carrying on with the work that they have pioneered. So that's the thing, they were pioneers in the field of socioeconomic rights, local governance, and gender equality. To the Dalla Omar Institute, you have another 21 years to make your mark on the history of this country. Um, 
so we don't live in the past. We don't live in pre-94. And we're not going to live in pre-2014. Uh, we're going to deal with the challenges of, of, of 2015 and the next 21 years. And I'm confident that the Community Law Centre is going to be around for a long, long time in this country. Uh, and it's going to continue to do the most amazing work. It's continue to attract the most amazing staff. Dala Oma Institute, a powerful name, a befitting honor to a great man. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you for doing that. <laughs>